Hey guys, so today's sketch is of Lysandra from the Throne of Glass books. Um, I really like her. If you guys have read those books, hit me up because seriously, like, they're the best. Um, so I'm using Arch's hot press watercolor paper today and I've never really used hot press paper before. Um, but I had a coupon and I got some at Michael's so I'm trying it out and I did like it a lot. Actually, it was really nice to work on a smooth surface with the gouache. Um, it's definitely a lot harder to lift the paint and probably watercolor as well than with cold press paper. Like it was a lot more absorbent, but I guess I kind of figured out um, like how to how to make that not an issue as I went along. Um, so there's definitely a learning curve to it, but I liked it a lot for gouache. Um, but I also liked the cold press paper I used yesterday, so we'll see. Um, so again, I'm using Reed's gouache, which is super cheap, and some random brushes. Um, I think the one I'm using right now is a super cheap one from Amazon. It came in a pack of like 20 million of them. Um, and it was like less than five dollars. I don't know, it was like really, really cheap. And then that one's one I bought at Blick. It's Princeton and Co, I wanna say. Um, and it's just really tiny. So that's good for detailing. Um, since I was trying not to use any pens or liners or anything for this, I just wanted to use gouache. Um, but it also wasn't like a realistic painting obviously so there need to be some kind of lines so I decided to just get a really thin brush and spend more money on it so that it would actually do its job correctly I guess um, so yeah um, I really do like gouache I'm finding um, so I hope I can use it a lot more maybe put some of it into my college portfolio that I'm working on this summer is so exciting you can see I totally messed up that part of her dress that's like touching her arm it kind of all blended together so you get to watch me try to fix that 30 times so exciting um, and also try to include more of my palette in this video so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit more um, I'm only using red, yellow, and blue, but I'm using like a warm red and a cool red, and a warm blue and a cool blue, and like a more orangey yellow and more lemony yellow, so again, like the warm and cool of each, but I decided to just, I guess, like since it's a new medium, figure out how to mix colors myself before using um pre-mixed tubes and stuff and i really do like mixing my own colors so that was good actually i do like that a lot because with markers and stuff you're limited to how many markers you own kind of and like those are the only colors you get to use but i really do love to use paint and watercolor and all that stuff because if you know how to mix colors you can really get whatever color you want except obviously like neon colors and stuff uh, but those you can buy, but, um, that's probably my favorite part about a medium like this, even though I do like markers a lot, um, whether they're Crayola or Copic, I just like them a lot for sketchbook stuff. Um, I kind of lost the claw there. Her thumb was supposed to have a long claw because she's Lysandra, but, you know, things happen. I totally forgot it was there until I finished the painting and I was like, whatever. Okay, the face is kind of terrifying for now until I decide to line it later, so sorry about that. It's always horrifying looking until I actually put the lines on top, but you can't do them first because it's paint. Um, and then it would just get covered by more paint. Okay, I think around here is when my cat jumps on my table. You can see me stop painting because I'm trying to push her. hear me talk live. Also she just stepped through my palette and now she's gonna proceed to put 
painty paw prints all over everything. And she actually puts one on the bottom of my paper. Thank God she didn't step over my painting. Don't put your butt in my That's paint. That's like wet paint. Like she's just like in it. Hey. Jerk. Look at me. Hey. Get your butt out of my paint. Okay, I totally filmed this last night, like past midnight, so excuse me in that. Oh, so you could see my pajamas. How exciting. Because it was like 1 a.m. That's also why the lighting is really weird. And there's a lot of shadows because I had to use my desk lamp for lighting because there's no sun at 1 a.m. So now I'm finally working on the face and making it, I'm trying to make it less scary. And I'm also realizing that in the books, Lysandra's like pretty pale and I did not make her pale. So I'm trying to lighten her up a little. Like I, I end up not making her super pale, but I'm trying to make her look less, I don't know, like, uh, tan I guess? I don't know. I'm trying to lighten her up a little bit, but I don't I don't know. I don't really mind her with this skin color. Especially with the red dress. I think it looks pretty, but tried to be accurate. Um, there's I think I was putting in her eyes. Um yeah, that little brush ended up being really useful. I didn't even, I didn't use it at all yesterday because I was on cold press paper and typically on cold press paper you can get less detail because of the texture. But since this was hot press paper, I could, I guess, push it farther and actually go in with detail without it being super like rough and having the paint skip on me from the texture of the paper. So that was another plus of the hot press paper. Um, the minus still being the like you can't lift it as well like if you make a mistake you can, it's a lot it's a lot uh, less reversible um there go her red lips this dress was based on like a few different dresses that I saw from like actual fashion shows and stuff online see they're, they're trying to make her lighter um so it's not from the books or anything but if I find the dress I'll try to like insert a picture or something I might like the main inspiration, but I, I changed it a little bit. Um, we will see. I saw it a while back. Let's see if I can find it again. Um, there's my signature using a purple micron pen, and I think this is like the zero zero five. Also, sorry, I keep filming stuff upside down. I didn't realize it was. There's my gouache. Um, yeah, I didn't realize it was upside down when I picked up my phone just to show stuff off. Oh, and there I'm pointing out my cat's paw prints all over my desk. And here's the final piece. Thanks for watching.